At the White House, President Obama was again pressed on the possible use of chemical weapons. Again, he said it would be crossing a red line, but then added this. If I can establish uh, in a way that uh, not only the United States, but also the international community uh, feel confident is the use of chemical weapons by the Assad regime, then that is a game changer because what that uh, portends is potentially even more devastating attacks on civilians. And it, it raises the strong possibility that those chemical weapons can fall into the wrong hands. He's asked the Pentagon to come up with plans, including some options which he said he would otherwise be unlikely to activate. He again backed the UN investigation. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has a team headed by Swedish professor Arkis Selström, but for now the Syrian government argues about the scope of the investigation and is not allowing the team in. In total, until now, there have been four different allegations of incidents of chemical attacks. Evidence includes footage like this, filmed near Aleppo. But now at a news conference, the Syrian ambassador to the UN made the claim of another incident this week in the north of Syria near Idlib. The armed terrorist groups in Saraqib, realizing the very serious breakthrough achieved by the Syrian army in that area spread seemingly the contents of plastic bags containing most probably a kind of powder. He was pressed on why the UN could not investigate all alleged incidents. He said it was because allegations made in letters to the UN by the UK and France had not been shared with his government. If the British and the French provide all their evidence to you and they say they have some evidence, will you then consider letting the inspectors investigate those incidents? If the Syrian government and the Secretary General and the Security Council members feel that these allegations are also credible, the Syrian government might, might examine the possibility of asking for further investigation. There's a chain of letters between the various governments and the UN, none of which is being made public. It's all creating a war of words, not only about what happened on the ground in Syria, but about the evidence and intelligence submitted to the UN. James Bayes, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.